Hey, this is Chris from In This Moment, and you're watching Get Your Rock Out. Hi everyone, this is Matt Richards of Get Your Rock Out Dakota UK. I'm currently with Chris, the lead guitarist of In This Moment. How are you doing today? Matt? Good man, awesome. Thanks for having me. You looking forward to it tonight? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it because we I don't know if you've even played here before, but it's an awesome, awesome show. It's packed, a lot of people out there. Um, it's our last show too, we're going home tomorrow, so we're excited about that too. Just we miss home. How's the tour been overall? Uh, it's been amazing, man. We love Hailstorm. We did a big tour with them in the U.S. up to the end of the year last year. So we got to know them really well, and it was a really well-received bill over there. And it feels really good over here, too, you know. Do you enjoy them playing the U.K.? Yeah, it's we haven't been here in a while, though. We, last time we were here was in 2009, and we did Download, which is always awesome. It's one of the most epic festivals there is. Um, but we haven't been back in so long, it almost feels like we're starting over right now. So it's cool. This was a really great way to start it out. We're coming back um, for download. Try to do a few shows around that as well here in the UK uh, in June, and just kind of starting over here, like I said. You know, at the moment you're promoting your new album, Blood. Yeah. And I just read the other day that Blood is the biggest selling single that Century Media has ever released. Yeah, it's pretty. That was pretty cool when we got that news. Did you celebrate when you found out? Um, you know, this album, yes, we did. But this album has been such a cha life-changing album for us, you know? In every way, it's kind of taken us to the next level. Um, as far as sales in the U.S., radio in the U.S., we got our first top ten song, um, the Century Media thing. It's just overwhelming how many cool things have happened from this. How, how did you approach this album? Did you approach it differently to your previous ones? Yeah, well, it's not like we really approached it differently. It just kind of was forced upon us to approach it differently. You know, before we did the album, a couple of our founding members quit. So the band kind of got stripped down to just Maria and I, and our bass player, Travis, who had been with us for about a year at that time, but he was still kind of new. Um, so we were just kind of like, what are we going to do? Are we going to do this album? Are we going to quit? You know, we didn't know. We were really bummed for a while. But what ended up happening is everything changed for the better. We got a better band. The album came out better than ever before because of the situation just being us, we wrote different kinds of stuff. And it also kind of opened us up to not be afraid to try new things on the record and with our live show and our look and everything. We just, we just agreed we were going to step everything up and go for it. And now looking back, it wouldn't have happened if that hadn't happened to us. If those guys hadn't quit, we wouldn't be here right now with this album. So it was for the best. Uh, what inspired <clears throat> the imagery for the album? Um, Maria has a crazy, like, insane artistic mind, you know, and she she kind of came up with the idea of of the girls, you know, the naked blood girls, she calls them, and her in the throne and all that kind of imagery. And then as far as the band, we kind of, like, wanted to let Maria be this glossy kind of pop starry looking thing with us, like, grungy, zombie kind of metal ghouls, you know, in the background kind of vibe. And we, we started out really kind of tame with the way we looked. And over the course of the last year, we've kind of just built up our look and more and more, you know, with each photo shoot. And now we look like this. Uh, did you enjoy the recording process? I did. I did. Uh, it was it was amazing because with what happened and being stripped down to just Maria and I and our producer, we kind of tried new things and everything everything just flowed really well. It was like it was meant to be. Um, so and. These are my favorite songs, my favorite. Did Maria enjoy the recording process? Absolutely. She would say the same thing. You know, we've, we've done interviews in the States about this, and it's like we, we're unanimous, we unanimously both agree that, that this is the best we've ever sounded and, and the best the band's ever been in our career. You know, and it's all because of what happened to us. You know, the bad created the good kind of thing. Now you're playing um, Download again this year. Yeah. And are you looking forward to that? Very, very much so, man. We've done it, done it twice. Both times it was amazing. But we feel like with this new record and this new lineup and this new energy we have, we really want to bring that to download and, and show everybody what's going on with the band. You know, we're doing it now in these smaller places, but that's a bigger stage. So we're going to really try to do everything we can to blow people's minds there. It's going to be awesome. Are there any bands you're going to try and catch while you're there? Ugh. God, I mean, I've done it before, so I know how it is, you know, like you hear your favorite band over there in the distance when you're doing this or that. Um, I, I'm not even sure who's playing that day. I think we're on the Slipknot day, and there's a bunch of bands I want to see, but I haven't even thought that far ahead yet, like, what's happening. I know uh, 
I think we're on the same stage with him, and they're headlining our stage. Um, but there's other bands I definitely want to see on the other stages, so we'll see how it goes. How long a set are you down to do? Uh, for download, it's probably only going to be 30 to 40 minutes. I would say probably 30, just just me guessing. You know, so we'll have to do some kind of Superman set and try to make it as awesome as possible. You know, is the rest of the time of the weekend just free time for you then? Uh, for da during download? During download yeah. No, I don't even know what's happening yet because we have download booked, and then there's like a week on each side of it because we're doing like Rock and Park and Rock and Ring in Germany, and then they have a little break and then download. So I'm sure we're going to fill all that up with shows, and I would really like to do shows around download here in the UK so we'll probably be playing a show those other days I would imagine we're just going to be hanging out but you never know uh, a few questions about touring in general how do you decide which songs you're going to play live that's always kind of a pain in the butt because we have so many great songs you know from our past that we like to play and, and our fan we know our fans want to hear certain songs uh, with this new album it made it a little easier just because we knew we really wanted to push the new stuff more than the old stuff so we're playing all, a bunch of new songs that we, we love and we think are great, and then we're kind of peppering in some of the old favorites to kind of round out the set, especially during our headlining set when we play for an hour plus. We play like Beautiful Tragedy and, and Gun Show and a lot of the stuff that we know fans want to hear. Um, are there any songs that you don't play live as much as you'd like to? Yes. Uh, we used to play Daddy's Falling Angel and Next Life and Prayers all the time. We don't play them at all anymore. Uh, it's kind of like we've grown away from that sound a little bit. It was more of a straight metalcore, heavy metal kind of scene if you will, sound at the time. And we felt like we matured so much that we're not really stoked on playing those songs. But I love them. You know, I love to play them. So, you know, maybe someday we'll bring them all back. Name um, a few of your influences. The well, for me, guitar. on guitar, yeah. uh, you know, Dimebag Daryl is a huge influence. Ace Freely from Kiss. Uh, Mick Mars, George Lynch, Warren D. Martini, all like the old school guys, 80s guys are, are what, kind of what got me going. Is that the music you listen to at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I, I keep up on what's going on with the newer bands, but I always find myself going back to my old favorites, you know, from, from back in the day. So I just listen to the stuff that I enjoy listening to when I wanted to be a rock star and wanted to be in music and stuff that got me pumped up and wanted me to, had me, you know, imagining it. I still love to listen to that stuff today. What's the best song you've heard this year, so far? Oh my god. A new song? You can't say blood. Oh, Adrenalize? <laughs> um, what do you think? Got so many friends out there, too. Uh, you know what? Hailstorm's got a great song. Um, that Love Bite song. It won a Grammy. It won a Grammy! I mean, that's a great song. I'd have to give it to that one. Sure. One, uh, one final thing. Have you got any um, funny slash horror stories from either this tour or any previous tours? Mm. Oh. Anything that happened on the tour bus? Or God, man, I can't think of anything. Something horrible that happened after a show? Or? We have it happen all the time. I'm just drawing a blank right now. So um, I'm getting bit by a spider in Australia. There you go. We were in Australia just at the beginning of last year doing Soundwave Festival. And our drummer, he was pretty new at the time, and he was like kind of afraid to tell us. He might have thought it was a pimple or something. We had this like lump on his leg. And he kept scratching it and scratching it. He thought it was a zit. He tried to pop it, and then he showed showed one of us the next day, and, and it was like this like hum, humongous red with a big white center. And we were like, dude, that is like some kind of freaking spider bite or something, bro. You got to go to the hospital. So he had to end up having to go to the hospital in, in Australia, and, and it was like a, a spider bite or a bug bite or something. They really didn't even know what kind of bug it was, but he got bit. He had to go to the hospital. That's that's pretty horrifying, I think. Well, on that note, I think we'll... And just thank you very, very Spires. much. It's absolutely perfect. Cool, man. Thanks for the interview.